For thousands of years, humanity has searched for answers, answers hidden in the fabric of the universe. We built tools. Then came modern machines and even supercomputers. All of them had one goal, to solve the puzzles of our world. But some problems were too vast, seemingly impossible. And at least until recently, because now Google seems to have an answer. It has unveiled a new chip called Willow. Now, Willow is not like any other chip we know. It's a quantum chip. In simpler words, it can solve a problem that none of our supercomputers can. And Google claims to have tested this chip. Willow was given a problem. It took five, five minutes to solve it. Do you know how the fastest supercomputer fared? It would take 10 septillion years to solve the same problem. 10 septillion, that's one followed by 24 zeros, that's 10 septillion. That is more than the age of our universe. So you get how fast Willow is. And for Google, this is a major breakthrough, the first in this field in nearly 30 years. But does the world really need such machines? What exactly is quantum computing? How can it change the way we live? For the answers, you'll have to brace for a science les lesson. We'll try to keep it simple. Imagine your regular computer like a librarian. Your computer is like a librarian, a very, very smart librarian. You ask them a question, they start flipping through the books. As a librarian, your computer can only look at one book at a time. But quantum computers are very different. They're like a magical librarian. They can look at a lot of books simultaneously. Your quantum computing librarian can read every page of every book at once, all at the same time. That's how it works. So will quantum computers replace our normal computers? The answer is no. Quantum computers are not designed for daily work. They're designed to solve big problems, problems that are too tough for our computers to handle. For instance, a new medicine. Scientists go through millions of chemicals. They run all sorts of simulations to find the perfect formula that will cure a disease. And that is when a new medicine is created. A normal computer would take years to do this, but a quantum computer can analyze the possibilities way faster. It can get it done in a matter of hours. And that makes its potential limitless. Imagine predicting the weather with absolute accuracy or designing new medicines in a matter of days or making artificial intelligence smarter or building new technology that we haven't even imagined yet. Quantum computers can do all of it and more. It's like opening a Pandora's box of ideas, which is why countries are investing in it. The United States is considered as a world, the world leader in quantum computing. Their government is pushing for advanced technology. And so are private companies like Google. But in terms of money, China takes the cake. It has the highest investment in quantum technology, around $15 billion. Then there are the likes of Europe and Japan. They have poured in a lot of money in quantum technology. And then there's India, which is also trying to build a quantum ecosystem, investing nearly $500 million in it. But as they say, with great power comes great responsibility. The rise of quantum computing also brings challenges. The first one is viability. Take Google's Willow chip, for instance. It's powerful, but it is a largely experimental device. You cannot use it to solve real world problems, not, at least not yet maybe not even the next decade. That's the first problem. Problem number two is logistics. Quantum chips use something called qubits. They're incredibly fragile. They need very cold temperatures to function. Also, they have very high error rates. Willow 2 was not error free. And the third is the question of security. Quantum computers are very, very powerful. They can break encryption codes. These are codes that keep your information private but now they can be compromised. And companies are already scared about this. In February, Apple made an announcement. It was making its iMessage encryption quantum proof. This is to stop future computers from reading them. That time has not come yet, but quantum computing is no longer the stuff of science fiction. It is here, brimming with possibilities. The Willow chip has given us a glimpse, a look into what the future might hold. But as we stand at the edge of this revolution, it's important that we tread carefully. The real question is not what quantum computers can do, 
The real question is what we choose to do with them.